Well, hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside and welcome to As Above, So Below, a rune and tarot divination for Monday, the 22nd day of April, 2024. Well, not only do we have a master number day, a 22, which is the cosmic builder, which is profound change, profound soul level change, but we also are in Maiden, so tomorrow is the full moon and... Uh, Let's see, what is it in? I've forgotten now. Because I work a week ahead, so I sort of get my head around other things. Let's see. Um, it's going to be full in Scorpio. So that's going to, you know, <laughs> it won't be emotional at all. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, yes, it will. Yes, it will. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, I got my computer thing fixed, so I don't have to use my laptop today. <laughs> I even had it up on, on books to bring it up higher, you know. It still it still was not the right lighting and it, it doesn't it doesn't do what this computer can do. So anyway, at least everything's working and I don't know. Let's take a look at the uh, Elder Futhark rune to get us started. We have Ansu's, the fourth rune of the Elder Futhark. Uh, Ansu's is thought to be Odin's rune. Uh, it means divine communication or divine eloquence. Uh, it's also uh, clarity and uh, spirit communication, divine message. Um, but it's a very powerful rune. Uh, it, it really is, 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 is saying that you should invoke your true self, which is spirit, to in, in all of your interactions with people. Uh, not become reactive, not let the ego take over and... Uh, um, and do all the things the ego likes to do. So <clears throat> it's really keeping your conversations here today lofty, reminding you to do that. So reminding us all to do that. Let's see what the below side of things is, though. What do we have? Ooh, well, that's easy. We have Populous. Populous, let's see, when did we have Populous last? I thought it was recently. Yeah, it was last Monday. Uh, Populous is the complement of Via. Via would be uh, single dots all the way down. Here you have the passive influence of Populous with two dots all the way down from fire, air, water, and earth. Uh, it means that elementally um, it's, uh, it, the energy is uh, non-resistive. It's, re it's uh, uh, receptive. Uh, so it's, it tends to, to describe a follower or the crowd itself, uh, where it's, it's the whole group that's, that's sort of, I mean, you'll have leaders <clears throat> that will emerge in any group setting sometimes more than one, which can be lots of fun, uh, but uh, to watch that unfold. But, but with populace, it just means that you're, you're especially combined with, with Ansu's, it means that the ego drops resistance and, and essentially transmutes into, e in, into spirit. So that again, it makes it a lot easier to uh, uh, stay in that high vibratory state uh, of the soul. Um, but the other side of the equation to that, though, with populace could be that you're following along with the crowd when perhaps you should not be. You should be uh, exercising a higher vision there. Uh, and so we'll just see, though, what the cards have to say, um, because that's going to really define it as far as the details of the reading itself, where we're going to go with this. But in all likelihood, it's going to be um, that we want to transmute ego into spirit and... Uh, and uh, keep our, our conversations very high vibratory and all of that. So I've already done some shuffling. I'm just going to do a little bit more here. And uh, I'll lay down the three cards. <clears throat> First, I'm going to cut the deck. I'll take the lower half. Well, no court cards, no major cards. But we do have, we have three suits represented. We have wands, cups, and pentacles. Um, now we can do this in a, oh, oh, we have all eights. Well, that's interesting. I got so focused on the, on the stuff itself. I'm looking, oh, something's the same here. And I looked at, yeah, yeah. So we have a run on eights. Eight is the numerology means uh, uh, material recognition and approval. It also means leadership. It means strength, both inner and external strength. Um, uh, so there's going to probably have to be some real, uh, well, some soul searching or maybe because with, with the eight of cups, there could have been some of that. Um, but uh, <clears throat> but basically with uh, 
with on Susan, the idea of transmuting ego into spirit. Um, that's going to take some inner strength for sure. Because that's not easy to do. We're so used to being reactive in our expression uh, and in our in our our vision of, of of who we are here and and you know we feel disconnected from spirit when that's all we are is spirit. And so and the rest of this is just the playground. It's just the illusion uh, that we play in and uh, learn from and experience things in. So, but it's but it's the soul doing it. But we just kind of lose that connection or don't feel it or don't recognize it or or acknowledge it. But uh, I think today, we'll, let's look at this reading, though. It's just interesting. I haven't had one where it's all the same number in a while, um, as far as the numerology. So we've got, uh, and then four, um, four Ansu's. Uh, so three times eight is 24, plus four is 28. Two and eight is one. Uh, so new beginnings. So again, this may be a new thing uh, to think about things this way. Um, it's generally the theme of these readings I do. So if you've been here before, I'm so happy you've come back. And, and if this is your first time here, welcome. Um, but I'll tell you, uh, um, it's the struggle is not, <clears throat> it's not between the masculine and feminine side of selves. It's not, it's not the polarity. That's after you get here. That's still part of the illusion. The real struggle is, is remembering you're a soul. That's the struggle, I think, for people. Some people just flow right into that very easily. So, well, of course I'm a soul, you know. But others, the most of us, it's like, you know, we go in kicking and screaming. It's like, no, not till I die. Then I, and it's like, no, 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 no. You never are not. So, so realize that. And, sometimes, and then when you do, then everything just sort of shifts. It's like, oh, okay. And you start thinking about things differently. But let's, I'm going to leave it in the uh, order that it is. <clears throat> let's take a look at uh, the, the Eight of Wands. Now, here you see Eight Wands, well, Eight Staffs. I need, hold on a sec, let me take some tea here. <clears throat> I was out in one area of the garden where one of the greenhouses is yesterday. We were getting it ready. I have broccoli and cauliflower and... Uh, a cabbage ready to go out into the greenhouse and so I'm going to plant them in uh, individual uh, fabric pots and in, I mean they're, they're big you know and because uh, I know they'll grow in them I've done it before and so I'm going to do all of them in it that way I can put them where I want them to be rather than trying to grow them out in the garden in space I'm going to have to then pull them out so I can put other stuff in I'm just not going to do that this year I'm going to try this I've done it with broccoli work great uh, but uh, the pollen is heavy, so I'm still feeling it. So anyway, let's go. Let's start again here. We've got the uh, eight of uh, wands, and uh, and in the Rider Waite, it's always uh, well. Generally speaking, it's either going to be you're going to see it as a club, or you're going to see it as as uh, staffs. Um, and here you have eight staffs, and it's like they're being thrown into the situation. So, you know, you've got a a lot coming in on you here, and. Uh, a lot of exercise of will, if you will. Wands is the fire element, so it can be the exercise of will. It can be, uh, it can be opportunities, creativity, uh, anything like that. Motivation, initiation, and so you've got a lot coming in on you here today. Uh, you see uh, a castle off in the distance here, and uh, some trees dotting the land here. Uh, massive blue sky, um, but. It could be overwhelming, you know, the idea of a lot coming in on you. Maybe you're ready for it, maybe you're not. So you could maybe feel a little overwhelmed by it all. And if this has been an ongoing thing, you know, maybe it's time to either reevaluate how you deal with things that are coming in, either dealing and not feeling so pressured by every getting, having to do everything at once and get it all done. Instead, you know, work on it in a piecemeal fashion or, or whatever you can combine together, or whatever it is, you know, but if it's eight separate opportunities coming in, you're going to have to think about that right before you make a decision and you could feel really overwhelmed by it all. So whatever this is, is because I'm just speculating here whatever it is you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed today by a bunch of stuff coming in and it's going to take some strength on your part to uh, 
uh, and, and maybe some leadership if you're in charge of people, if this is at work, for example, to be able to sit back and say, okay, um, let's not get overwhelmed today. Let's let's just take a look at each one and see and prioritize and and all of that. So so it uh, it could be something like that, uh, where the eight comes in and and you're actually this is a leadership situation. But if not, if you're on the other, or even if you are and you're just tired of it all, then comes the uh, the uh, eight of cups, where we see the moon in the sky. Uh, we see a man walking away, and he's walking uphill. He's using a, uh, a walking stick to do it. You see some big rocks, a flat rock here, and some bigger rocks there that are kind of in the path. Um, and you see, you see eight cups. It's almost like he could be the ninth, you know. Uh, but uh, you see eight cups here, all in, a, all in a pattern, all in a row, and then the other three on top. So everything's gotten into order, all of his emotions, and he's leaving behind emotions that don't serve him anymore, and he's moving on. So in terms of this card, it could be that when you these things have happened, you become very, very overwhelmed, which is, which is emotion, which is the water element, which is cups. And you've just decided that I'm going to get it all in a row. I'm going to get more structured about how I'm going to do things. And I'm going to walk away from things that, that no longer are working for me. Uh, and so in a, in a sense with him, in a sense being the ninth cup, with ninth being endings and completion, he's this is a sense of completion here. And he's moving on, taking with him what's going to work for him emotionally and leaving behind what no longer does. Uh, that would be one way to see this card. And again, with the eight, that's going to take some inner strength on your part to do that uh, where you're going to have to trust trust what you know and because uh, it's a little scary you get used to a particular type of reaction and even though it might not be workable it's you've done it so many times it's kind of safe it's just the automatic thing that you do well maybe with all of this coming in and rather than missing the opportunities that are coming your way and these could be new clients for example especially if say you're an entrepreneur and I'm going to suggest that with this card uh, perhaps that's what you are and you are you don't want to you don't want to miss any of this stuff and so even though it's like it's all coming in on you you know you're freaking out a little bit but it's like suddenly you realize you know what I can't do that if I'm going to maximize this all right, and that would be the, the strength and the leadership aspect of the eight. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to need to use the same sort of uh, uh, eight energy to let go of, of my reactions, my emotional reactions to things. And, and even though it could be difficult, you see him going uphill, you see him using the walking stick, there's rocks in the way, you see big craggy rocks out here in, in, the, in the water, in the ocean there where, where he's by, uh, it's still... You know, there's a sense of, of purity, of cleansing, of moving past things that don't work for you anymore and certainly aren't going to maximize the opportunities that are coming your way, if we're going to call it that. And I think I will, because here with the Eight of Pentacles, you see possibly the same individual sitting on a bench out away from the town. And he's working his craft. He's increasing his wealth. He's displaying what he can do for other people to see. And so as they walk by, it's very similar as to the as in the Three of Pentacles where you see the guy, the mason, working his, his craft there, creating a really beautiful uh, front or facade area for a building. And uh, two people come by and they're admiring his work. Well, it's the same kind of thing. Uh, so you hear you have another entrepreneur, another craftsman, another sole proprietor who is is just diligently working his craft. That's the other thing about, about the eight. There's a sense of diligence and responsibility with it that's, that's over and above being told by someone else what to do. Okay, this is an internal, an internal type of motivation which began here in the eight of, of wands. And so with a one numerology for the, re, for the reading, new beginnings are possible when you let go of the emotional reaction to things that might seem overwhelming but are in truth an opportunity 
Uh, it's like in the Ten of uh, Wands. He, he's got ten staffs bundled together. They're fanned out at the top. He's walking what, to, to what appears to be his home, maybe. Uh, his head is down. He's not watching where he's going. And I and instead of being, oh my gosh, he's got an overburden there. I mean, that's one way to see it, especially depending on the other cards. But with that one, he's trusting the process. He knows where he's going. And he's and he's happy to 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 display all of the new clients he has for his family because that means increased opportunity, which results in increased material security, right? And so again, um, I think that that when you think about the process in the tarot about where one card goes and sort of builds on to the next one, right? It prepares the way for the next one. You start to see patterns here in life that that the way you see things matters. And so whereas in the Ten of Wands, the man could feel burdened, but I don't think he does. I think he's carrying it. I think he's 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 shouldering it well and he's trusting that process that he can he can maximize his success. I think the same is true in this reading. A lot comes in on you and you can either be overwhelmed by it and emotionally, you know, drained by it all and you don't know what to do uh, or or you can gather your wits about you, decide, you know what, that's not the reaction to have. This is opportunity for material security, right? For material recognition and approval by other people who, in this case, might want to hire you, right? And, and if that's the case, if you own a business or even if you're just working for somebody, the same sort of thing can apply because the better employee you are, if you treat the, the uh, business as if it's your own, in other words, the better off you're going to be. You're going to perhaps get promotions you wouldn't have otherwise gotten. The boss sees, hey, you know what, this person really cares. Or if you are the boss, um, you're helping your employees by manifesting and, and that whole idea of I'm not going to get overwhelmed at what's coming in. Let's 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 you know see where we can go with all of this. And so if but but ideally you have to let go of the emotional reaction of it all so that you can then apply yourself diligently to manifesting your you know your worth and your self worth your your material worth. Uh, to other people, uh, how how well you do your job. I mean, he's dil. Oops, he's my my ring hit the the counter here, the the table here. My, you can see him. He's 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 uh, he's creating his wealth. He's creating his the by with by. by by, by basically sculpting these coins uh, and 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 up it goes you know increased wealth increased opportunity uh, showing people that you could actually deliver on what they've asked you to do uh, and so there's a lot of positivity with this card uh, it, there is with all three cards especially having the inner security to walk away from emotions that aren't getting you anywhere that are preventing you from seeing the opportunity that's in front of you so I think, you know, with, with the idea of, uh, of Ansu's then, how that fits into the picture, uh, and, and then also populace, I think it's true what I said in the beginning, that you're dropping resistance to the ego, letting ego transmute into spirit, looking at things from that overall higher perspective so that you can actually see what this is instead of being caught up in the emotion of it. And the freak out of it of, oh, my God, look at all I have to do. Instead, it's like, oh, my God, look at all I have to do. You see, it's a different perspective, isn't it? You know, when you're when there's fear that's happening and and oh, I and insecurity happening. I don't know how I'm going to accomplish all of this and looking at it and seeing all the opportunity there to be able to accomplish something. And and again, if you're accustomed to reacting that way where you know you're more emotional than you need to be about something and you can't see the the opportunity the door that's opening the new beginnings that are starting then you really do you have to put your emotions into order and walk away with what you really need and leave the other behind so that you get clear about what those opportunities are and then you manifest your, you manifest them basically. And you build your wealth, you build your skill set, you build your reputation with other people. But it takes that ability to let go of the emotions before you can do that maybe. So if that applies to you, then I, my suggestion is again, get, get into that higher vibratory resonance 
and see things from a very positive standpoint of, of again, what this can do in terms of opportunities coming your way. And instead of being overwhelmed, you know, let go of that feeling of, of being overwhelmed and realize the opportunity before you. And uh, in other words, make hay while the sun shines. So anyhow, I think that's it. I think we did it for a Monday. I don't think we need any more cards. Um, I think I'm just fine with this. I don't think we need to we need to get any other details here. Um, I mean, this is just a common thing with people, though. You know, it's easy to become overwhelmed. You know, you go outside at, at our place. We have five acres and, and uh, uh, everything, you know, we're growing things on the whole thing, whether it's a pasture of, of hay or or uh, uh, whether it's all the gardens that we have or, or the trees and the shrubs and the flowers and all of that that we have. Something's growing everywhere on this property that we have to tend to. And at the, at the beginning of the season, you know, it's uh, we it's we're in that that place. We started about the mid midway in April, and we have a lot of uh, we've got some more trees that have got to come down, and so we've got a and we've got an old barn that we still need to a tree fell on last year, and so we have to, I mean, we had to take it down anyway, and this just motivated us to do that. Um, but there's a lot of that that still has to happen. Um, and some of that has had to wait because the, the Canadian pair that come in, the geese pair that come in every year to, to nest on our dock, um, they were here again and now they're gone. They have their babies and within a day or two, they're gone. They take them somewhere else. That's just, that's what they, I guess that's just a thing geese do. They have them once in one spot and then they move them elsewhere and maybe continue to move them. I don't know, um, while they grow up and, uh, until they can fly on their own. Uh, and that takes a while because, you know, geese are big. <laughs> so, so we've had to postpone some of it and, and now they're gone and we got out there on Sunday and, and, uh, did some things, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. All right. And it's, I have other areas I have to, I have to work in and, and get everything ready and, and get all the old stuff pulled out and, and, uh, cut back or whatever. And, uh, and we have irrigation now. So our flood irrigation started on the 15th. So there's all of these things that we can sit and feel overwhelmed about and just sit in the, sit in the house and go, yeah, I don't know what to do, except we do know what to do. And so we're doing it. But again, it's, it's letting go of the feeling of being overwhelmed to the point that you can't do anything. You can't make a decision. You can't, you know, and, and everybody's been there. So I'm sure everybody knows what this is like. And, uh, uh, and again, you just have to see the opportunity, and uh, and in case and in the case of what we're all, what we're growing here, the opportunity to harvest and and to just to watch it all happen, you know, that's a wonderful thing to do. So, irrespective of what it is, whether it's that kind of stuff or it's stuff at work or 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 you're opening a business or whatever, and and you're trying to figure out how am I going to get clients, and then suddenly a whole bunch show up. It's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Well, get to work let go of the emotional other than yay, <laughs> you know, something like that, but don't get overwhelmed by it because, uh, see it as opportunities and, and, and you'll feel differently about it. It's like, okay, well, let me get to work then, you know? So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. And, uh, and again, if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you'll do that. Give it a like, if you will, and come back on Thursday for another edition of as above, so below. Be good to yourself, be good to one another, and blessed be.